C.S. Lewis once wrote this, if the solar system is a result of an accident, then you are too, and your thinking is. And if your thinking is just the result of an accident, then why should you trust it? And why should you trust the thinking of astronomers or scientists? Why? 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 If you're the product of chance, you cannot trust your thinking. And then he quoted J.B.S. Haldane, who said this, If my mental processes are determined solely by the motion of atoms within my brain, I have no grounds to believe my beliefs are true, or that my brain is composed of atoms. Dear friend, there are only two types of people in the world. Those that believe that nature is seen and felt is supreme, and those who believe in the supernatural, that just like electricity, there's something beyond we cannot see, yet which controls all things. There's only peace, my friends, when you believe in the Creator God. That's the meaning of the Christ event. That's why we have such stories as Matthew, Mark, Luke and John. If any blemish could have been found in those stories, then all ideas of Christian faith would be dissipated and blown away. But no one has ever found a flaw, a blemish in the life of Jesus. That record is no more chance than the universe is chance. Remember, he claimed to be the Son of God. He claimed to exist before God was. He said all men should love him more than their own life. He said the angels belonged to him. He predicted when a woman anointed his feet that that would be told of in the whole world when the gospel went to the whole world. He said if heaven and earth pass away, my words won't pass away. Plato couldn't say that. Aristotle couldn't say that. Julius Caesar, who wrote famous commentaries on his wars, he couldn't say that. Cicero, the great orator, he couldn't say that. My friend, only God could say, as long as heaven and earth exist, my words will be known. He foretold the disciples would go to all the world with the gospel. The Holy Spirit would fill them. All but one died by violence. But the message did go to the world in that first century, even as far as India. And today you and I hear it in a thousand ways. God grant that you and I may agree with C.S. Lewis and realise that these brains of ours are testifying to a creator. If you see a jug of milk spilt, you don't expect to see in what is spilt the story of how the jug was made and how it had an accident. Similarly, my friends, when your mind speaks to you of a creator and a saviour, receive it, believe it, and joy will be yours everlastingly.